Hi, and welcome to Firestorm Appearance mini-series. I'm F.S. Teresa, and this is our second lesson in the series. It will cover how to add and remove objects, items, from your existing avatars, and how to mix and match looks um, so that you can come up with something new. In short, we're going to give Bitsy a makeover. If you don't already have Bitsy in your inventory and you want to follow along on your own avatar, you can use the avatar selection window uh, to wear Bitsy and then save as the outfit, naming it Bitsy. And we learned how to do that in lesson one. Now, moving on to removing items you may not want to wear. Use the t-shirt icon to bring up the appearance window. Select my outfits tab and expand the outfit name Bitsy. If you'll notice, she's a no-nonsense businesswoman, uh, and she's carrying a lot of paraphernalia. Let's change her to be more casual looking. We'll remove some of her accessories and her hat. So let's find the pieces we need to remove. We're going to get rid of the purse and the laptop, and then we're going to change out the hair hat for a different style from another avatar look. You can find the items in the appearance window, or you can click on them directly in the main view screen window. Left-click Betsy, Chihuahua, and Bag, and select Detach. Note that the handbag disappears from her right hand, and the outfit um, changes from green to white in the My Outfits tab, at least the item that you removed. This denotes that she's no longer wearing it, the, the white instead of green. Now do the same thing for Bitsy Tablet and Bitsy Hair and Hat. One at a time, left click them and I mean right click them and select detach. Notice that these objects will disappear from the avatar and they'll also just on the My Outfits tab, they'll turn from green, which means worn, to white, which means not worn. When you're done, she's gonna look like this. But now she's practically bald. It's a look we don't really want. So let's get some hair from the other outfit, Girl with Horse. On the My Outfits tab, click the triangle to expand Girl with Horse and see what the pieces are. Find the hair in it and note that the name is Rihanna Hair. There she is. All right. Now, once you've found her, right click on Rihanna Hair and select Add. Note this has to be done in the Appearance window in the My Outfits tab. It, it can't be done um, from the View Screen tab because she's not wearing it, so you can't click it. So click it and select Add, and now your avatar is wearing the hair from that other look. Yeah, but I still don't like the look. She's, she's more relaxed, but that jacket, it just doesn't work for me. So let's go ahead and remove the jacket. Now note, if I right-click the jacket and detach it, I get an unpleasant surprise. Part of her shoulders are missing. This is because the shoulders originally stuck out of the jacket, so the outfit creator used an alpha to hide them. Therefore, when we remove the jacket, we must also remove the associated alpha. You can remove the jacket by right-clicking it in either the main window, the main viewer window, or the My Outfits tab, and then select Attach. But the alpha, you can't click from the main window. It must be removed from the, I out, from the My Outfits tab. So find Bitsy Jacket Alpha in My Outfits, right-click, and select Take Off. It may take you a second to find it. If so, that's okay. And in a few seconds after you click it, after you take the alpha off, the shoulders will reappear. Sometimes it doesn't happen instantly. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. But it does happen. She's looking better, but there's still one more change I would like to make. She's wearing high heels, and I would like her to be in flats. 
So let's remove Bitsy shoes and replace them with Girl on Horse avatar shoes. This is going to be a two-step process. The first step is going to be to take the shoes off. Shoes often have two or three parts to them. There's usually a shoe base, which shapes the avatar's foot for the shoes. There's frequently, but not always, an alpha to hide parts of the foot that might stick out of the shoe. And of course, there's the shoe itself. In our case, the shoes are comprised of Bitsy Shoe Base, Bitsy Heels Alpha, and Bitsy Heels. Right click on each one and detach or take off, and this will leave her barefoot. So get, find the alpha and remove, take off. Find the heels and detach and the shoe base and take off. Now we're ready for part two. We need to add the shoes from Girl on Horse. So first thing we need to do is unexpand Bitsy by clicking the upside down triangle and now expand Girl on Horse so we can look for the parts that make up the shoes. In this case, there's only two parts, the shoe base, uh, Rhiannon's shoe base, and the shoe itself, Rhiannon's shoes. Right click both of those and select where, uh, or actually select where for the shoe base and select add for the shoes. And now we have her in shoes. Voila, there she is wearing the shoes from the Girl on Horse outfit. There's one last step to all of this. We want to save the new outfit that we just spent all this time and effort creating. We already know how to do that from the last lesson, but let me quickly review. Click the Save As button and select a name in the pop-up window. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Red and White Casual Dress. Once you've um, got the name type, select OK and finish saving the outfit. Now you have more tools that you, um, to control how your avatar looks. We've learned how to remove items from our avatar, how some items are comprised of more than one part, like an alpha or a shoe base. We've also learned how to add items from another outfit to create your own unique look. Second Life offers you a lot of avatars in the avatar selection window. You can take pieces from any of them and combine them to add to your current appearance. Of course, not everything is going to fit together cleanly, but you can experiment and play with it until you get just the right look. Our next lesson will look at how to use purchase gifts or items in your appearance.